Hello Pisces, so you guys are the last reading that I'm doing today. I've literally done all 12 signs and this is the first time that I've ever done a zodiac specific sign reading and I'm absolutely knackered so <laughs> let's see what you guys have for your reading. So as before I start, I am having a April sale at the moment till the 22nd of April. I am doing my 25 minute readings are half price so you guys can get a £33 reading for £16 and also just to let you know if you do book a reading you need to make sure that the uh, money so like if you're in America so the exchange rate is the exact same so I can get the exact same amount just to let you know because sometimes if someone purchases a reading I get less than what the actual amount is and it's a bit awkward so let's see what can Pisces expect in the next couple of weeks I feel like some of you are being a little bit stubborn as well I don't know why just feel like some of you are being a little bit stubborn with some sort of situation or something Right, okay. What can Pisces expect in the next couple of weeks, please? What energy is Pisces giving out? We've got raising your standards. Feeling safe. Happily ever after. So I feel like a lot of you, I feel like some of you need to cry. I'm not sure why, but I, I feel like you need to cry. I've got this like kind of feeling in the back of my throat that like, I need to say something, I need to cry. It's something, something that needs to come out. It could be like a emotional release. It could just be talking about something. And you've also got environmental awareness and self-resilience. So, oh sorry, self-reliance. So basically, one, I feel like there's a couple of emotions that you're working through right now. I feel like are being a bit stubborn and are a little bit stuck. I feel like you guys are feeling a little bit stuck in your emotions. But it's all going to be okay and you're kind of settling into a feeling safe mode. It's like there's a couple of new opportunities that are opening up for you and it's kind of it's kind of making you feel stuck um, and unsafe. And you're kind of like, do I really want to do this? Can I do this? Oh my God, help me. I'm scared. That's what I'm kind of getting. But overall, it's very, very good. You guys are kind of working through this energy and you're relying on yourself, which is really, really nice. And you're focusing on what actually makes you happy, which is so, so good. Because I feel like a lot of you haven't really been happy for a long time, which is kind of what I'm getting, which is kind of sad. But yeah, it just feels really sad. Like I feel kind of sad now. Yeah, it just feels really sad. So I'm sorry you guys have been feeling like that. But as I say, some of you are doing really good and you're kind of in this kind of like self-reliance happily ever after energy which is really really good and it's also I feel like a lot of you want to work outside you want to work with animals you like building stuff you like working on stuff I feel like a lot of you some of you might be a park ranger or something that sort of thing and it's also making sure that you are all oh, right some of you are moving house some of you are moving environments as well because we've got the environmental awareness it's just being being aware I feel like you're padding you're padding out and being um, aware of all the different elements of your life you're kind of like adjusting yourself to each section so say like you need to with your job like you might need, need to move job with your relationships you might need to improve your relationships with your um, health you might need to improve your health so I feel like you are connecting on each different sector of your life and you're kind of Diving into one, adjusting it. Diving into another, adjusting it. Diving into another, adjusting it. And then it's kind of like an overall like happy ever after. So it's kind of like you're diving into a lot of segments of your life. So what can Pisces expect for the next couple of weeks, please? Yeah, and I feel like when you're adjusting these things, it's kind of interrupting your flow because Pisces love to just flow through the water and kind of go with the flow. But I feel like you need to just adjust these before you can actually get into that flow, which is really good because you have that awareness that you need to do that. Oh my God, we literally just got a fish. <laughs> okay, koi fish spirit, there is always enough. So I'm gonna look into this spirit in a second because I feel like there's a message that I need to know, I need to tell you guys, so I'm gonna look into that. And we've also got be loyal to what you love. So I feel like you guys are going for a career change at the moment and you're deciding what actually feels beneficial to you and what is actually going to be really good for you. And it's being loyal to actually what you love and kind of what is satisfying for you and what isn't gonna drain you because Jobs are draining enough when you're earning money, let alone if it's something you really don't enjoy. And I feel like you're definitely building up some sort of, I, I can see you building, using building blocks. I feel like you're building like a tower, you're building like some sort of structure for yourself. So I feel like you're building up your life slowly because I feel like a, a something that came crashing down. I feel like something came crashing down a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago and you're building that back up again. The koi fish who grows big within a small pond reminds us that within each of us is the potential for for prosperity the law of abundance ensures that prosperity is our natural state so regardless of temporary outer conditions you can call in prosperity and magnetically attract the opportunities and abundance you need the message of koi fish spirit is to begin to generate wealth within 
with deliberate intention, no matter how small your pond may seem, and appreciate abundance wherever you see it. Are you feeling a sense of scarcity, afraid you will not have enough and not be enough to meet the challenges you face? Whatever your outer conditions, they are temporary and reflecting what was set forth in the past. Koi Fish Spirit is your ally in changing these, these, those conditions by transforming your inner beliefs about scarcity and plenty. Perhaps you have suffered a loss or are afraid you soon will or have been scraping by and feeling there are simply no opportunities available you for better your circumstances. Koi Fish asks you to find prosperity within you by connecting to spirit through spiritual practices. I definitely feel like you guys needed to hear that. So basically, the camera might have cut me off. So basically what it was saying was that you're a small fish in a big pond and it's reminding yourself that you have prosperity within you, you have all those opportunities and it's, it's saying that you might be in a bit of scarcity mode at the moment but it's okay because it's like, I feel like things are drawing back before it goes back out again. It's like the tide where it draws in and comes back out. And it's like in, out, in, out, shake it all about. <laughs> but I feel like you guys are really kind of holding on to um, the past. If you hold on to water or hold on to sand, it goes through your fingers and it kind of trickles away from you. Where you could literally be holding on to a brick and building foundation. So it's like you're holding on to things that are naturally kind of like, oh my god, I need to take that, I need to take that, I need to take that. It's like what you naturally think of instinctually what you need to do and it's like you don't need to do that anymore that's like the past this is like kind of a small element into actually what is actually the bigger picture if that makes sense I don't really know if that makes sense but there's like you could be as a quote where it's something like you could be holding on to like a crown where actually you're holding on to like pile of poop <laughs> don't really know what that means but basically you have the opportunity to grow bigger and to grow as a spiritual being and grow in every element of your life but you're deciding to cling on to the tiniest little bits that you can where it's like no I don't need to I feel like this could also be doing with an ex with the past and um, that sort of thing you're, you need to like let that go now because it's like it's kind of running out of your hands now because you're because you're actually letting this stuff go and it's actually running out of your hands because it's like the universe is like pushing you to this new opportunity this new adventure this new life that you could be having right now and it's concentrating on the new things that are going to happen. And it's okay. If you're feeling like your self-confidence is a little bit low, that is totally fine. Work on yourself. Be loyal to what you love. And it's also doing things that you love as well to kind of nourish that inner child and to nourish that um, happiness within you, to nourish the joy that you have. Okay, so let's see what you have for your relationship sector. So what is going on in Pisces relationships right now? what can Pisces expect in the next couple of weeks I can see a couple of you having an argument with two I can see a couple having an argument I'm not sure what that's about but there's some sort of argument argument over authority argument over authenticity I don't know what that is but I feel like some of you might not be authentic to yourself and then it's basically causing arguments within your relationships don't know what that's about but that's what I got so we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's safe for you to love. True love. And flirt. So basically I feel like you guys are kind of reclusing right now. I feel like you guys are little hermits. And um, you are kind of, as I say, I kind of get in the analogy of the, the waves again. It's kind of like you're drawing yourself back. Which is fine because I feel like everyone goes through this at some point. But basically there is a romance that's coming in towards you and it's okay to like be confident in yourself because that's kind of what's going to draw people towards you. So let's see, what can, what can Pisces expect? And it's basically to make sure you are looking after your emotional self before you get into any sort of relationship. And it's free yourself from expectations you have of yourself. We have the Nine of Wands. This is to do with freeing yourself. I feel that you guys are holding, holding things very close to your heart. You're holding like words you're holding back conversations that you could be having you're holding back energy that I feel like could just be released it's kind of like I don't know why you're holding on to this oh right because you don't feel safe okay that's what it was okay so now we've got the eight of wands so I feel like now that you're coming out I feel like once you come out of this um energy of kind of holding things to yourself um things are going to move really fast and you're going to be flirting with somebody that is really like gonna suit you and it's gonna be somebody I feel like you already know I feel like you guys could actually be in a state of pause at the moment this is a state of pause 
And I feel like you could actually know somebody and be in a state of pause, as in like you're not talking with each other. This could also be to do with the relationship where you're kind of holding back things that you want to say. Lack of self-confidence could be reflecting in your relationships. So I definitely feel like you guys are holding back something you could be saying. And then once you hold it back, it's going to flow really nicely into this true love. Um, and it's it's fine. It's safe to do this because this person loves you and it's totally fine. And if you're single, then basically, it's basically the same thing. It's like you need to let go because you're going to be moving towards something really amazing. It's going to really, really suit you. So what can, what's the overall outcome for Pisces, please, in love? We have the Page of Swords. So some sort of new opportunity is going to come in for you guys. A new love is going to come in. I'm getting really, really happy now. It's like a, a new kind of space is opened up. This is like so amazing because I can really feel the intense division between these two energies. So this is like a really like, oh my God, I'm so stuck. This sort of feeling like I'm going to hold everything really close to my body. And it's like, no, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And then it's like, ah, oh, wow, amazing. Like, wow, I didn't know I could have this. <laughs> and I think as well, once you, get, once you free yourself and have that communication and you let this go and you move forward either towards this person or kind of, um, and just kind of let yourself go. It's like I could be having some really good times. We have the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and Knight of Wands. So as I say, there's a lot of fast moving energy. Um, you can't see that, sorry. Um, so there's a lot of fast moving energy, and all of these people I feel like are really strong figures. These two are very innocent, and this is someone as in like innocent as in like new, and this is somebody who kind of knows their stuff. They could move back a little bit slowly. But it's, also, it's almost like now that you've kind of come out of this kind of energy, now I can move forward. Even though this is new and it's scary because it's like, oh my God, this is like a new... Right, I feel for, Lou, for some of you guys, this is a new love. And it's like you, you're scared of opening up to, from getting hurt. But literally, what I'm seeing is like, it's literally nothing to worry about. I don't know why you guys are worrying because it's like, I know you, I know why you guys are worrying is because you are scared of what's happened in the past, of what's actually happened. And it's like, and it's reflected badly back on you. But now it's like, hell no, I'm not going to feel like this anymore. But I feel like this could take a little bit of time to so just be gentle with yourself. But once I say, once you move through this energy, through these fast moving ones, it's like, holy crap, look at all this amazing stuff that I could be having. Look at me looking out towards my amazing adventures that I'm going to have with this person, amazing adventures that I'm going to have now because I've opened myself up. And yeah, it's just emotions need to flow, guys. And it's just like, once they do, it's going to be like, holy shit, let's go. Let's go. I'm getting like the song, we will, we will rock you. <laughs> and we are the champions. <laughs> so it's like, you're banging your stick and you're like, yeah, I'm the champion. So let's see what you have in your finance before my camera dies my camera is about to die so let's just see what you guys have in your finances definitely getting the we will rock you songs like we will we will rock you yeah it's like bitches i'm coming out i'm coming out and i'm doing some great stuff also scorpio got that energy as well so i feel like you guys could be connecting on some sort of level also maybe connecting with a cancerian so we've got be honest with yourself family harmony And feeling safe. So I feel like you guys could be adventuring into a new job opportunity. As I think I said before at the start. It's like it's some sort of new job opportunity. And it's like you're trying to be confident in yourself. Because I feel like a lot of you have been out, either out of job for a while. Or you kind of are scared for moving into a new job. It's like oh my god I've never, I haven't had a new job in years. What do I do? But the opportunity is right there. It's like here it is. Take it. Take it. <laughs> It's like, I feel like um, you're hearing a lot of family patterns as well. And I feel like some of you have, um, maybe like your parents have had a bad reputation with money. They've been in debt. They've spent too much. And it's like, I'm not going to be like that anymore. I'm going to um, work on myself and I'm going to accept this opportunity that's come towards me. And it's also doing a job that you really love and something that's really going to suit you. And it's also, you could be giving back to the community as well with these six of pentacles. And it's also giving and receiving there's this really balanced giving and receiving energy so this job that you wanted to go for is going to be really good for you also if you're already in a job this is just going to be this is just confirming that whatever you're doing is really good for you and it's also just keep being honest with yourself is this job suiting me do i want to carry this on if i do then yes then that's good if not then this there is a time where this is a time now where you can feel safe into moving onto a new 
job opportunity is something that's really going to suit you. It's also, I definitely feel like it's going to be a relationship that's going to really suit you soon as well. Because I'm getting this like massive kind of overall wholeness. And this is to do with each element of your life. I'm getting like a relationship, money and health. And it's all that love kind of coming into this one like ball of wholeness. Which is really random to say. But it's all coming together for you guys. And it's going to be all okay. And it's fine. This new, this job opportunity is going to be really really good for you and you guys are amazing i love you so much so thank you for being here thank you for clicking on this video if you'd like a private reading as i said i am doing a april sale i'm doing an easter sale so my readings will be half price so if you'd like one of those then feel free to let me know down below email me or message me on instagram also please subscribe comment down below if this resonated with you if it didn't then let it fly and i've also got pick a card readers that you can choose from as well if you'd like to choose any of those and i'll see you all very very soon